All right, let's graph this line. We have the equation of a line given here, and we're asked to graph the line by finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So what we are going to do is first remember the x-intercept is the point where the line will cross the x-axis, which means that we have some x value on the x-axis and 0 for y. So taking my equation, which is in standard form, it's very convenient for me to simply replace the y value with 0 and simplify and solve for x so that I can know what the x-coordinate that corresponds with a y-coordinate of 0 should be. So negative 3 times 0 simplifies to 0. So I'm really just now solving 5x equals 15, which if I divide both sides of this by 5, I'll get x equals 3. And so that is the coordinate for my x-intercept. So now I have one point that I can plot on the graph. I'll need at least one more point to be able to graph this line. So now I'm going to go ahead and find the y-intercept. This time, we're looking for where the line crosses the y-axis. And so we would be looking for a y location with 0 for x. So I'm going to do basically the same thing I did before, except this time I'm replacing the x with the 0. So just writing it out. Then I'm going to simplify. This cancels to 0. Then I have negative 3y equals 15, which I need to solve for y. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3 to get y equals negative 5. So now I can write that in as my y-coordinate. So now I have the x-intercept of 3 and the y-intercept of negative 5. So to graph this, I'm going to go to 3 on the x-axis and negative 5 on the y-axis to intercept points, and then I'm going to connect them with a nice line here. So there we 